right now I want to talk about gospel records. There's a lot of gospel records in New York City, a lot of great gospel records. But like, I guess like maybe salsa music or, or digging through prog, you've got to go through like dozens of records to get to those gems, right? But I've developed a taste for gospel records. Um, it's worth a dig. If you find a great gospel record, or you find a gospel record's got a couple really dope tracks on it, they're going to be so sweet. I guess it's the combination of spirituality and funk. I tend to go through the credits at the back, see what the instrumentation's like, bass, organ, drums. I see what kind of a setup that they've got to see if there's any funk in there. Because I said there's a lot of gospel records that I wouldn't really be that interested in. But like, you get some great gospel albums in New York. A little like, um, how can I put it? Guilty pleasure of mine in a way is um, I really dig white gospel. I used to go to Bleecker Street Records, rest in peace, back in the day. And they'd have all these white gospel records for like a dollar, two dollars from the 60s. As much as I love gospel like black gospel, come on, I'm a black man, so black gospel, the essence of most pop music that we listen for derives from black gospel slash blues, so don't get it twisted. But I do have a thing for these white gospel groups from the 60s. None of these records I'm putting now are of that genre, but they're in here somewhere. I'd love to give an example. This is a salsa record, which is a gospel record, which is really dope. And it's got breaks on there for you um, producers. But um, I really get into white gospel. For example, something like, like this, for example. This is a really dope record, Edge of Freedom. I'm struggling with all these records here. Because it's almost like it's these white cats who go to church and they decide to make a record, but they're listening to 60s psychedelic music. And they're just like, all right, let's mix these 60s psych with our religious inclinations. And they come up with these crazy albums. And um, when I used to go, I'd say when I used to go to Bleak Street Records, they'd have a ton of these type of records for, for cheap, just, just, in, just in the, the dollar bins. And I'd vacuum, I'd vacuum them up. This is another one, a great Christian psych record. And um, I just wanted to speak briefly about gospel. It's a genre that I get into. I'm not particularly religious, but I'm religious about good music. And um, this has a great record. This has a great tune on there too. Salvation Air Force on the Murr label. Murr's a good label for that white boy gospel too. So um, yeah, just filling you in. Last but not least, for Williams Brothers. This is not a particularly good record, it's just my last name is Williams, it's the Williams Brothers. I've got three other brothers, so that's what that's about. And um, yeah, great psychedelic gospel records. But I also love my bluesy black gospel too, don't get it twisted. So um, that's it, just thought I'd have a little religious rant about gospel records. Enjoy your day, evening, and um, I'll catch you later. All right, peace.